Have you been looking for ways to get better performance out of your NVIDIA graphics card? Man, check this out. Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. We're back to you with another video. Today we will be going over the NVIDIA control panel and the settings and how to get everything set up. Some of the things that you probably don't know about, some of the things that you may have seen before. So we're going to dive into that today. But before we get into this video, if this is your first time here, welcome. Here we do everything tech, all things tech. Whatever it is, we like to do it. And if you are a returner viewer, I appreciate you the most because you keep everything going. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dive into this video. It's going to be a real quick video. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have GeForce Experience installed. Now, what this does, it allows you to be able to play your games from here. Um, but you can also uh, update your drivers and get the drivers and everything that you need from here as well. So the graphics drivers that we currently have right now is the GeForce Game Ready Driver, the 440.97 release date 1022. So this was released a couple of days ago. Why? Because Call of Duty Modern Warfare was uh, released today. And um, if you don't have the, you can always hit check for updates here make sure that you got the latest driver so once you do that you can go ahead and close this out all right and so what we're going to do now is we're going to right click and we're going to click on the nvidia control panel all right so here's where the fun starts uh so what we're going to do is click on adjust image settings uh with preview and here first thing you're going to do here is you actually want to click on use my preference uh emphasize performance so um initially i think this is on quality you're going to change that over to performance and hit apply um once you do that you actually are going to go ahead and click back on use the advanced 3d image settings click apply and then you're going to click on manage 3d settings and here are the settings that you actually need to switch over to so ambient inclusion needs to be off anastropic filtering needs to be off anti-aliasing fxaa needs to be off anti-aliasing gamma correction on anti-aliasing mode off um, and once you click that off, this is grayed out. Uh, CUDA GPUs, uh, make sure that this is on all and make sure that your graphics card is checked. DSR factors, you're going to make sure that is off and then that will gray that out. Low latency mode, which is something that's actually new. Um, you want to actually leave that off. Uh, monitor technology. Um, I have two G Sync monitors. One is a G Sync monitor, the other is G Sync compatible. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, multi frame simple AA off. OpenGL rendering GPU. You're going to leave this on auto select. It may be on auto select from the get go, but make sure that's on auto select. Uh, power management. You actually want to change this to maximal, prefer maximal performance. So this should say, so you have di different options here, but we want this one, prefer maximum performance. Prefer refresh rate, uh, highest available. Um, and I think there's some other options here, application control, but you want to put this on highest available. Share the cache on, texture filtering uh, on, texture filtering negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, we want to set this to high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization on. Thread optimization on. Make sure that is on. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync off. And then the virtual reality pre render frames, set that to one. Once you're done with that, click apply. All right, so that's a part of the first couple of steps. The next thing that we want to do is definitely go to change resolution. Um, if you have a high refresh rate monitor, um, like I do, um, I have the um, ASUS PG279Q. Um, it's a native 144 hertz panel, but it overclocks to 165 hertz. Um, and then I have the MSI MAG 24C. Um, I actually have two of them, but I only have uh, one of these connected right now. Um, and that's a 144 hertz monitor, 1080p monitor. Um, my ASUS um, panel is 1440p. So for the ASUS panel, now to make sure that you take advantage of your high refresh rate, you have to come here and you have to make the change because by default, um, it's usually set to 60 Hertz. So you have to, you have to actually come in here and change this 
in order to take advantage of the high refresh rate. So that's the settings for the PG279Q. And then for the 144 hertz panel, 1080. Make sure that you choose whatever your monitor is set to. So for mine, 144 hertz is the highest on the uh, Mag 24C. And for the ASUS, the highest is uh, the 165 hertz. If you scroll down here, um, apply the following settings. Um, so for we're going to use the NVIDIA color settings. Uh, make sure the highest 32 bit output color depth. Um, depending on your actual monitor and the panel, some people have 10 bit panels. Um, if you do, make sure that you go ahead and change it. Uh, Mine is an 8 bit um, RGB for the color format and full dynamic range. And click over here, and it's pretty much going to be the same information here. So make sure that that matches up and click on apply. All right, so the next thing that we're going to go down, we're going to adjust the desktop color settings. So currently, we are on the Exus panel we're going to click on use nvidia settings um i pretty much left these as is but if you go down here to the digital vibrance um this is pretty much your choice i have mine currently set at 70 percent and i have that set for both of these they're both set at 70 percent and that's because when you're playing games stuff like that i like to definitely get all the colors especially on the ips panel that i have for the asus panel i want to get the vibrant colors uh, make sure everything pops um, if we go to uh, set up G-Sync. Now, um, depending on the actual panel that you have, um, like I said, my SUS panel is a G-Sync panel. Um, and then the optics to the Mac 24C is actually G-Sync compatible. Um, so, you know, that's the same thing as adaptive sync and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, tear free game plan, <laughs> pretty much. All right, so to make sure that you have this set up correctly, make sure that you go in, click on enable g-sync or g-sync compatible um, then you want to make sure that you click on enable for windowed and full screen mode um, and then click on that and then you're going to scroll down and you'll click on apply and you will do the same thing now if you have a um, adaptive sync monitor so it's free sync but it also is compatible with the nvidia gc driver then what you'll do is you'll make sure that you click on enable settings for the selected display model and then you will click on apply down here and then you'll pretty much be good to go you'll be set up um now uh last thing on well not the last thing but second to the last thing on here is the setting up the multiple displays um so i actually have three but i only have two connected right now you can actually swap these um i have this pretty weird like so number two for me is the actual pg279q and that's just because of the way i have it configured on my desk i have this as my primary monitor so if you wanted to make this your primary monitor uh, you just right click and click on make primary and then number one is the mag 24c and i have that set up as number one i could swap these if i wanted to where this monitor so when i slide over to the left or to the right depending on which way i want that to go um extending the desktop and all this stuff you could be able to do that here but i actually want to leave that like that and then you go to adjust color settings and here the small thing change that you want to make here is just make sure that you is initially going to look like this but you're going to click on advance make sure that you change it from limited to full you want the full dynamic range of your panel and you'll do the same thing for your other monitor if you have multiple monitors and that is pretty much it for the nvidia control settings uh, definitely let me know if these work out for you and all the changes that we made here today are pretty much set up so it allows you to be able to get the best out of your video graphics card while using your system playing games more frames per second uh, you know less stuttering less lag all that good stuff these pretty much even though i have the 2080 ti i was using these settings even before i even got that car so so let me know down in the comments if these settings work for you also don't forget to follow me on social media uh that's twitter instagram and facebook um man you can hit me up anytime also don't forget to check out our discord server um it's a great place to talk more about this type of stuff discord server is definitely good for right before our live stream right after our live stream um and anytime that you want to talk about tech stuff man thank you for watching the video all the way through man that was some good stuff right so if you would like to continue to see more good tech stuff like this more videos like this make sure that you hit the links hit the descriptions in the below hit like 
hit subscribe and hit the bell so you receive all my notifications so you don't miss anything. And man, we got some great content that's gonna be coming up. So I did a poll and in the community tab, um, I said, hey, pick and choose a game that you want to see me stream on this Saturday at 10 a.m. That's October the 26th. And so you all chose Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which actually came out today. It released. They're having some server issues right now. Don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully they get everything straightened out. Um, but definitely come Saturday at 10 a.m. We will be streaming Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And man, I see you in the next video.